Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the books of my life. Um, I have to admit that when I first uh, w was asked to choose three books that were the books of my life, uh, it wasn't easy to choose for three. But then I thought uh, maybe I choose three books which have been uh, influential to my writing. And uh, one of the first books I have uh, I have brought with me is uh, from an Austrian writer. She is Marlene Haushofer. She's not so well known, but maybe. In Austria, she is well known. It is called The Wall, and I think uh, it's uh, it's a book about isolation. So, uh, what is happening in the wall? Um, there is a woman who wants to spend a weekend in a hunting hut in the forest with her with her relatives, and uh, after her relatives leave, uh, she's uh, left alone in the hut, and uh, her relatives do not return. And uh, she finally finds out that she's all alone in the hut and she is surrounded by an invisible wall and she cannot get out. And uh, outside of this wall, the, the wall seems to have uh, frozen in time. She's, she can look through the wall, but she, um, things are frozen. She doesn't know what is happening outside. And inside, the time is going on and she manages uh, to survive. And it's, uh, she's all alone and uh, the book, uh, she's, she's there with uh, only a dog and a cow and she survives and uh, it's, it's fascinating how she manages. The second book is a very, a very uh, well-known book. It's uh, from uh, Franz Kafka. And I choose it, it's uh, called uh, The Judgment, Urteil. And I choose it because uh, it is so hard to understand and it's so uh, ambivalently uh, interpreted. As you can see, this is uh, called uh, Ten Analyses. So uh, this book is, the story, the, 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 the narration is only, it's, uh, only uh, 30 pages. But the whole book is about uh, interpreting the narration and trying to find out what's going on and what does it mean. And I think it's very hard to understand what does it mean. The story is, uh, well, we, uh, we meet the young merchant man, he's called uh, Georg Bendemann. He's living with his father. And uh, yes, uh, uh, she's, uh, he's writing a letter to a Russian friend and uh, after that he, uh, he wants to uh, tell his Russian friend uh, about his engagement. And after that he, uh, he looks after his father and his father suddenly uh, uh, claims that uh, there is no such Russian friend. And uh, they begin to struggle and finally the father sentences uh, his own son to death and uh, his son uh, uh, his son uh, accepts the judgment and he commits suicide by uh, jumping uh, jumping uh, off a bridge and it's very hard to understand uh, but i think it's uh, it's uh, highly interesting it's uh, fascinating is and uh, yeah and the third book is not uh, a fictional book it is it's a book by Sigmund Freud, um, and it is called uh, Das Unbehagen in der Kultur, which means something like uh, feeling uh, inconvenient within uh, culture or within uh, civilization. And uh, I especially like uh, Freud's writing because it is uh, very uh, pleasant to read. It's, uh, he has a very uh, uh, very uh, metaphorical language, uh, but it's uh, it's uh, yes, it's it's very pleasant. And the book is all about uh, culture, and uh, it claims that um, the more culture evolves, uh, the more uh, the neurosis uh, within the people evolve, and uh, because you have you have to to. Uh, to forget about your primary instincts and uh, within culture you can only survive uh, by eliminating your primary uh, instincts and it's uh, yes uh, Freud is very a very good writer also